What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another vlog. It has been a crazy week. I got to play the WSOP online bracelet events here in Atlantic City. Played five events. I cashed for 3.6K in the six max. I finished 13th. I cashed for 4.1K in the 1K championship. And I also final tabled the $500 finale event and got fifth for 38.8K. And then the Monday after the finale, I ended up getting 234th in the 10 million guaranteed Venom, which I talked about on my last video for 7K. So I can't even do that math. What is that, like 40, 50K in caches in less than a week? So it has been an insane week, but as promised, we are still putting out another poker vlog from this week. I have a session for you from the Borgata again. We played some 2-5, and we are on a two cash game winning streak. So we're trending up. I'm hoping to get my third cash game win in a row, but tune in to find out. And again, everybody, if you are enjoying my poker vlogs, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the youtube channel and drop me a comment on these videos it really really does help the videos perform and helps the channel grow so i really appreciate that without further ado please check out this borgata vlog i hope you enjoy first hand we look down at here is nine seven of diamonds we actually pick it up on the turn i had raised pre to 15 bet flop 25 i'm up against the big blind and then i bet 75 on the turn and they call so we've got 232 dollars in the pot and the big blind checks to me and now i have the second nuts here only queen nine beats me i think queen nine would have check raised by now so easy value bet here the question is how much and i decide to go 200 bucks since the board has not really changed at all so um yeah but they fold pretty quickly so i guess they were just on a draw but we had a nice start to this session picking up this pot here this hand is kind of funny actually. I'm on the button and there's a raise in early position and I'm calling with king seven off, which is obviously weird. I thought it folded to me and I was just raising the button. Big blind comes along as well and I was laughing my head because I kind of like played it off. But here we are with king seven off suit on the button three ways. The big blind and the early position opener check. So at this point, <laughs> I gotta dig myself out of a hole here. So I bet 30 bucks and hope to either obviously take it down since they both checked or take this down via multiple bets here since there are a lot of draws on the flop. And the initial raiser did check multi ways, so they're probably not that strong. Big blind checks and uh, the ill position player folded on the flop, so we are heads up. I look back, still a ton of draws out there. I'm gonna to continue to try to dig myself out of this hole. I bet 60 bucks on the turn. And the big blind here is thinking for a minute. I'm like, this is fantastic. I'm gonna get myself out of this one, baby. I was like, in the least, if they just call here and all the draws break out, I'm just going to fire river. I'm gonna get them to fold a nine, a three, a six. And when they just have missed draws, I'm going to bet and get them to fold anyway. Because I would imagine a lot of their missed draws are actually beating me. Like maybe ace high flush draw, a better king high flush draw. And uh, they do call our turn bet. The river comes in nine. So I'm fully prepared to fire again here. But to my surprise and my maybe not surprise... The big blind player actually carves out a bet here and throws out a $100 bet on the river. So this is not a common thing for live players to do with like missed draws. So they just, you know, pretty much have a nine. That's like kind of it. And I know I'm folding at this point, but I'm like, you're going to donk lead into me on the river. I'm going to make you sweat this out and I'm going to wait before I fold. But yeah, I look again. I got to sell it a little bit, blah, blah, whatever. I'm folding. Nice hand to the big blind there. Six, 
Here we are sitting in the small blind with ace queen offsuit. There is a raise in middle position to 30 bucks. I'm not going to re raise here. Just going to call. 30. There's also a bunch of cards that got exposed here somehow on this hand. You can see in the uh, top left. I'm like, uh, okay. None of them are really relevant to our hand. It's like 3 8 deuce or something. But we call and the big blind calls. So we're going three ways to the flop. And the flop is going to come king, 10, 9 with two mm. hearts. So we got a gut shot to the Broadway, and we have a backdoor flush draw. We check, big blind checks, and the initial raiser takes a second, thinks, and then they also decide on check. So we are going to the turn, which is a sweet one. It's a jack. So now there's four to a straight out there. We have the nutty straight, and I decided to check because I was like, if anyone else has a queen, they're betting, and they're not folding to a check raise. So I thought I could get the most chips in the middle with this line. Big blind bet 75. Middle position, initial raiser folds, and it's back to me. So I was like, okay, this is perfect. They're never folding a queen. And if they have two pair, a set, and they happen to be betting, they're probably not going to fold those hands either. So I think this is a great opportunity to start building this pot. I make it 200. So it's only another 125. I don't think that's going to scare away the two pair in the sets. The queen obviously is not going anywhere if they happen to have that. I maybe could have made it a little bit bigger. I feel like I kind of like 250 as well. I also don't think two pair or sets leave for 250, especially not in this type of game. Pretty soft 2-5 game here. A lot of the 2-5 games at uh, Borgata are actually pretty soft. Big blind does call for 200 total. And the river comes in nine. Now, in the event they had a set or two pair, this is a not a great river. But I'm not overly concerned about it. The player to my left in the big blind doesn't have too much behind. I cover them pretty decently. I slide out 400 here into the pot of 490. And he asked how much it is. So this is a great this is a great sign here because this means that they're very interested in calling in live when they ask how much it is. People do not usually ask how much it is when they are prepared to fold. So I thought this was great. And he's counting out his chips actually right now, contemplating the call. And then in a second here, he actually goes, ace and queen. <laughs> and, I, and, and I think I giggled to myself. Uh, it's a funny moment, but you could tell this guy's just dying and does not want to fold. And doesn't for a second think that I have two pair or, 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 a, uh, or a full house on this river. So he's not thinking I'm betting two pair or a set on the turn, which I think is fair. But after a little bit of deliberation here, now at this point I'm like begging him to call. But after a little bit of deliberation, my man does find the call here. Slides in his 400 chips. And then action's on me. And I say, yep, ace and queen. Ace and queen, yep. He huffs and puffs a little bit, flips his queen eight offsuit for the turn straight. And we pick up a massive, massive pot here. Almost 1300 bucks in the middle on this one. So this is great. Count it out, match it. Give me my money. Yep. Let's move on to the next hand. Here we're under the gun and we look down at king 10 of clubs and we raise it up to 15 bucks. I think this is a pretty easy raise here. There were a couple of good players to our right, actually, we had position on. So this was, even though there were a couple of good players, this was a great table. I had good position. Everything was perfect. So we raised to 15. Only the button calls. So we are heads up, and the flop comes jack, jack, five. I do have one club. I could bet small here and then barrel good turns, but I decided to check. It was a brand new player who just sat down, and the turn comes a nine. After the check check, they could still have a jack. I decided to check. And the turn checks through, and then the river is a six. And at this point, I just think they're not really that interested. Maybe they have ace high or twos or threes. So I decide I'm going to bluff this one. I bet 50 bucks. It's good for the image. Somebody sees a bluff here. It would be great for when I'm value betting later. They don't take too long, and they call with ace, king of spades? I was like, what? 
He's not John. <laughs> We look down at Kings here in the late position. We make it 15 bucks. And then just the big blind calls. So we're heads up to the flop. And the flop comes Queen Deuce 7. We have the King of Hearts. We have an overpair. This is a pretty straightforward value bet. We bet 25 bucks and the big blind at Turbo Mux, so they just didn't have anything. He didn't call and he didn't show up. Like he was supposed to be here at Here in middle position, we look down at 8 9 of spades. We raise it up to 15. And at this point, uh, the table got filled with some older gentlemen who were playing very, fairly straightforward, kind of tight. I was like, uh, this is getting close to the end of it for me. Um, I actually, though, got three bet by one of them to 50 bucks, so definitely calling. Hoping they have a big hand and I smash flop. And the flop comes ace, queen, four, all spades. So we did smash, which is great. And now I'm first act, so I am going to check to them. Assuming oh, that they're going to see bet a lot, but then they snap check, which is super disappointing because a lot of these tighter players usually over C bet, I feel like, in live poker. So, uh, check, check, flop, turn, we got to start putting money into the middle. I bet 75 bucks. They don't really take too long before deciding, nope, I'm good. So, I actually don't even know what they had that they three bet me with there. I guess maybe sevens with no spade or something, but we ended up picking up this pop. And uh, we know that, again, this game is not really that good anymore, so we are going to be bouncing. But another uh, successful Borgata trip here. A lot of fun, stacked a bunch of chips, and yeah, great to play here on the weekends. So, love it, love it, love it. All right, well, there you have it. We did manage to get our third win in a cash game vlog in a row. So that's pretty neat, we're trending up. Confidence is feeling really, really high, especially after this last week, all those caches online. And actually now we are going to be heading to Pennsylvania to play the online Pennsylvania bracelet series, which is brand new. WSOP.com just came to Pennsylvania. So make sure you tune into my Twitch stream I will be streaming all the events that they are going to be hosting. It's going to be a week of that. So tune in there for more action. And then I am going to be getting you some coverage and some vlogs back from Pennsylvania. So hopefully, I guess we'll be at parks next. But again, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Drop comments on my videos. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks, everyone.